No, I do not accept your resignation. Listen, I understand what you're going through. I myself had a similar situation once when I was a young banker. But resigning is just an excuse to not face up to your own mistakes. So I want you to stay on for another two weeks and think hard about your priorities. And if you still want to resign then, you'll have my blessings. When were you planning on telling me you were going to resign? Well, I don't remember agreeing to it. Andrew, you forgot again. You agreed to it yesterday. That's why I called the bank. Then call it off. Hello, Dr. Guan, Mrs. Guan. Oh, hi. You must be Claire. We finally get to meet. And this is... Uh, Hi, oh, I'm ja He's Jasper Wu, my soon-to-be ex-colleague. Uh, um. Sorry. It's a pleasure, Mrs. Gordon. I have all the paperwork. Shall I show you now? Uh, yes, please. We need Dr. Guan's signature as well. I'm not selling the house. Andrew! I'm so sorry. Uh, I think we'll have to do it another day. Sure. It was really strange how Mrs. Guan was completely ready to sell the house. Yeah, Mr. Guan, completely against her. Do you think she's trying to force him to sell it? Let's just stick to the facts. Yeah? I'll be right there. Dr. Guan is here. So, Dr. Guan, how can we help you today? I want to apologize for yesterday. I think I owed you an explanation. It's really okay. No, 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 no. I want to tell you all about it before I forget. When I proposed to Nora 45 years ago, I promised her that one day we will retire to a little house by the sea. And since then, I put all my energy into my work and eventually saved up enough to buy the property. But just when I was to retire, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. We were devastated. Nora wants to sell the house and use the money towards a cutting edge medical treatment at Johns Hopkins. The best case scenario would buy me, at the most, three more years. I would rather keep the property so that Nora has a house to live in after I'm gone. A house in exchange for three more years. What would you do? There's got to be another way to help them. I could research some alternative treatments. Maybe there's a cheaper option. Come on. The man's a medical professor. Do you really think that you can tell him anything more You than said it yourself. He's been retired. Maybe there's some new treatments. Look, it couldn't hurt to do some research, right? Michael's right. It doesn't hurt to do some research. Thank you. Come on, guys. We're bankers. We're not doctors. What's going to ruckus, you guys? I can hear you all the way from my office. I've heard about the Guan's case. It's a tough one. But you guys don't have to solve it all by yourselves. Fill me in. What are the options? Well, there seems to be two options right now. Sell the house or keep it. What about Dr. Guan's medical insurance? I checked, but his insurance doesn't cover the treatment. How about a home equity loan? No, we've done an appraisal on the house, but the value is far too low because it's situated in an underdeveloped area. This is going to sound a bit out there, but is there a way to maximize the potential of the site? Actually, there might be someone who could do just that. May I join you guys? Hello, Team DBS. Thank you for coming at such short notice, Mrs. Sito. I'm Carolyn Tan. Ah, you're the new team leader that I've heard about. 
Well, I hope you're every bit as impressive as your predecessor. I'll let you be the judge of that. So, what do you have for me today? Remember the mega shopping center you wanted to build? Ah, yes, the one you collectively torpedoed. How could I forget? Well, we believe we found an improved location with better business prospects. Please. I hope you didn't bring me out all this way on a Sunday to play video games. So this area we're standing on is mostly underdeveloped residential area. Now what's interesting is zoning laws actually allow for commercial development. The area is south facing, which means there will be an abundance of sunlight. And what about transportation? A proposed bridge is scheduled to be completed in a year's time. That will link this area to three major urban areas nearby. Couple that with its close proximity to the airport, and this location has the potential to be a major tourist spot. Now imagine, if you will, Mr. Zito, an eco-friendly structure that houses a hotel, dining, and shopping complex. Outside, there'll be a marina for water sports, and even an educational center with the protection and preservation of the oceans as its theme. An eco-resort and marine park in one. Precisely. Hmm. And your thoughts, Carolyn? Well, being the first to develop in an area has inherent risks. But I agree with the team that the potential outweighs it. Besides, you don't strike me like someone who's afraid of trying something new. Call the whole development team and have them meet me now. Let's play it again, shall we? With news of the Finley Group's plan to develop an eco-resort, the appraised value of the house rose, and with it, we were able to extend the loan to help the Guans keep the house and pay for the medical treatment. I just want to say a big thank you for helping us with the loan. You have given us a new lease on life. We will treasure every moment. You're in good hands, Nora. We'll take care of everything from our end. Thank you. Thank you. It's time to go. Hold on. Do you love him? What? Do you love him? What are you waiting for? And with those words, I'm suddenly reminded of how fleeting life can be. We can be so wrapped up in our ego and ambition that we often lose sight of what's really important. Falling slowly further away from you We're worlds apart, there's nothing I A simple notion we all know to be true, but rarely have the courage to live by. To not let even a single moment go to waste. In your arms, to live meaningfully and honestly. I feel cold, I feel empty inside. Your warming touch is what keeps me alive. And if I'm lucky, with a companion on this journey, we call life so much more than this. Where I die from dust at all. No, you gave me everything, it was never too much. And time and time again, we fall. Oh. But we make it.
our life was so 